Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Star Forge. What is going on today? So every time I come back on, I have to re re put on some piece of equipment usually. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically kind of do some harvesting. So this is the the better drill that we're using, which is much much nicer. We do want to build another drill, but we need all of this stuff, right? We need this ore, I think, to make powder, and then once we make powder out of like three or four different materials, then we can make the antimatter. So what is stopping me from making the the vehicle? And kind of that's what I'm hoping for today is the vehicle. So right here, what's this? this is that silly antimatter? Same thing with this thing. You know, I could gather all this stuff, but you really it's the antimatter. Same thing here, the antimatter. So that's kind of what's slowing us down. To make antimatter, I think it's this stuff right here. So we need Voltronic ore, no problem. The powder, Saltex powder, Obsidian powder, Dark powder. I think we need to build a refinery. Uh, let's see, forging terminal. This is bad boy. We need to build this thing, and this will make... See. You process raw resources into refined powders. Then we'll be able to make that stuff. So yeah, so we need a lot of this stuff because this is part of everything. And all I've been doing is just kind of running around using the tool to gather. It's like this. And I've been trying to find that garrison ore. I know there's garrison ore around here somewhere, but I don't know, I can't seem to find it. And I'm also trying to find some sulfur deposits. Usually they they pop up everywhere in here. But not recently. Ah, oh, wait, is that something way down there, right there? See that right there? That could be something. Yeah, usually there's a whole bunch of stuff to pick. Let's kind of run a bit. So I, you did an assault on the, um, on the, <laughs> the crashed spaceship because it was convenient and I was kind of on my way to do like a harvesting run and so yeah, so that's kind of what I'm doing. So plan for today, what's the plan for today? Well, we want to build that buggy, that's, that's definitely what we got to do. So. I'm just trying to find that garrison ore, so we're going to kind of run around a bit back in here. I'm trying to think if it's down further that way or up that way. I think up that way. I think we're going to head that way. So let's kill this bad boy. There we go. Yeah, the assault rifle falls a little bit better for this kind of stuff because it just is. So we still need meat, so that's why I'm still killing stuff. As well as stuff seems to drop all kinds of recipes and everything. So so as we kill the creatures, then you more recipes can appear. So I keep killing them. <laughs> okay, so there should be some garrison ore around here somewhere. Because this is where I found it. I remember this whole sulfur deposit thing. Um, so this will allow me to pick it up, so let's kind of scoop up a bunch of sulfur here. Because you know we need some. So I found out that there's different amounts, or different totals. You know, step for like the ammo, there seems to be a thousand for each of the stacks. And then for resources, it seems up to 500. So like down here, see, so like the sand only 500, right? Uh, what else do we have? Let's see, dirt... Sulfur. We have have 99 sulfur. So we actually need a lot of this stuff because this stuff is what builds us our bullets. So we definitely need to pick this up with our drill here. I really like this drill because it just seems to be more efficient. You know, it doesn't deform the land you know, too quickly. It does once the resources are depleted. But for this kind of thing, it seems just right. Okay. There's a bigger deposit up here. Um, come on, there has to be some garrison ore somewhere. 
Okay, there's some obsidian ore. Let's head that way. Um, yeah, I don't know. It has to be around here somewhere because I did find it and I mined it, but I didn't mine it much because I didn't have this drill. Now I got this drill with me. Now I do want to find it. This will give me obsidian ore, I think. Let's see here. Yeah, looks like this will give me obsidian ore. So let's kind of process this a bit with our, our device. Woo! Okay. Got this thing over here. I'm thinking it was over here somewhere on this stuff. But I could be completely wrong. Uh, let's kind of check. No, okay. That's more obsidian ore, I think. That's what this stuff is. Yeah, that's what this stuff is. <laughs> let's see, are we going to be able to... Oh yeah, see we can kind of chew up the the earth. There we go. But it kind of does kind of funky stuff as you try and do it. So, yeah. Okay. How about we run up this way? What's this thing over here? No, it looks like stone. Yeah, see, I don't know. You got some stone here. How about up this way? How about in the sand area? We got 500 already, so it should tell you when you're full, so that way you don't keep collecting it. We got obsidian ore here. Come on, garrison ore, where are you? I should have put a, like a nav beacon by it when I found it the first time. You should always carry a nav beacon. Uh, that looks like some dark shale down there. There's some Voltronic ore, is that it? Let's just go further in. That's some dark shale, I think, and I think that will be Voltronic over there. Let's kind of check it out. I think that's what I did last time, and this is how I found the... Let's see, can I pick these up? That's wood. It's got these weird creatures. There we go. I think I can mine this. Ooh, yeah, Voltronic ore. Nice. So I'm going to do a little bit of processing here of this stuff, because we might as well grab more of this stuff. You obviously need the better drill for this. <laughs> as soon as you build that jeep, then it'll be no problem. Um, yeah, see, I don't see any garrison art. It had to be on the other side of this mountain. As I go down, we mine. Perfect. Okay. Let's go back this way. Gonna kind of check it out over here. Uh, let's see here. Hopefully we have enough. Otherwise, we'll go back. We'll build a refinery. And we'll build... Well, we'll build what we can. Right? We'll make those powders. And then hopefully we can make the Jeep. And then we'll kind of play with the Jeep. And then we'll call it an episode. So, yeah. So let's see, we're going to run this way a little bit more. Um, yeah, we'll just run this way in the hopes of finding it by pure chance. I think that's what I did last time. I kind of was hitting this this mountain here and I wasn't sure where to proceed up it. And then I all of a sudden I stumbled upon it. And I think it was on this side of the mountain. So I'm going to kind of go up, but I'm going to go up with the desert, because I think that's what I had to do. Let's see here. Okay, and I'll tell you what, as soon as I find it, I'll be right back. And that uh, stupid dogs, as soon as I find it, I'll be right back. Okay, <clears throat> here we are back in our valley. Or whatever you want to call this area. I call this like a little valley. Because it's kind of getting smaller as we run around it. That jeep is going to be so nice. Because we're going to be able to create our own antimatter. So I'm going to check this red 
that thing here because it's been a while since I've it's been a whole day cycle so we're going to see if we see any green beams out of the sky or if there's anything inside this as loot I always like to check it for loot because you never know what you might miss so let's see here oh wow this is more stuff glitching interface of course cool well so this is pretty reliable these are pretty reliable for loot sources can't wait to go through all of those recipes with all of you It'd be amazing to see too I can't do it while running do I have any food other than the 21 no okay cool so nine I think that's perfect switch back to this weapon I know I'm still killing this stuff. Well, the bullets are so cheap, so why not, right? And you still get good loot off of them every once in a while. It's pretty rare. So yeah, so you have to keep killing stuff. Just running over down this way, down to to reach our base here. Come on. I want to build a refinery. I need to build a bigger platform. I need to build the jeep so I know how much bigger to build this platform. I do know we need to put power services into play, so let's actually go into our inventory here and grab some your box material and here we go. <clears throat> and start placing stuff. So I placed the nav marker so that way you know, there's a little radius around our place that tells us we are within range right so uh, we're just gonna kinda carry on no nope. right click it's kinda like this okay cool yeah the construction here is kinda really wonky it all depends on what like where you're looking at I don't know if there's structural in integrity into the game. Not sure if there's anything like that that exists. Uh, come on. There, that's good. Okay, continue to build these out. I'm going to build the power device here, on I think on the corner maybe. I don't know. Let's see here. Yeah, uh, maybe we'll just build the power, put it right here beside the nav marker because we do need power some form of power to power if you ever want to build the laser towers if we ever want to do I think refinery requires power yeah see requires power so let's create one refinery since we have enough for that stuff and then let's create one of these guys these power generators small just to see how it works of course we want to have one of everything right I also want to build as much food as possible so that's what 18 units we can do yeah we can do that how about uh, healing injections so we'll have to check that out and then there's all this research I kind of want to go through here so yeah so I tell you what, we're going to go through the research here and I'm going to edit that out. I'm going to only kind of keep the good stuff. So yeah, so let us start. Spec Op Gloves. Ooh, this is new. Nice. Power Generator Large. That's a new one. Look at that. That's a large generator. Spec Op Vest. I'm not sure if I have that one. Yeah, we do. Hover ship double blueprint. Monolithium stairs blueprint. Oh, there's a creature. Creature, creature. Whew. Come on, I'm missing. Whew, that was a close one. No problemo. <laughs> oh man, what an interruption that was. So we were doing our research. So we definitely need to put walls up on this place eventually. Definitely need to do that. Okay, back to here. 
bed blueprint. Oh, that we didn't have that one. Graphene ramp. Ooh, nice. Spec op plant or p plants and pants. <laughs> That's new. Monolithium door, which we don't have. Okay, perfect. So we got stuff out of that. This is the container that has all the extras. But we did get some new stuff. Not very many. We got some spec off gloves here. Excuse me. I have to adjust my headset here. Okay, so here's the spec op gloves. So let's actually create those because we can do it right now. And we need the pants as well. So, yeah, we're wearing those. And now we can build our pants because we definitely want this. Perfect. And look at this. We can make guardian boots. We might as well make that. It uses monolithium ingots. Ooh. The buggy, I think, needs monolithium ingots. Let's double check that. Scroll down. Oh, look at this. Hover ship double. That's new. Cool. Definitely have to get that. A two seating hovercraft. That's cool. Single seating f flying copter. Steel ingots. Oh, we need to make more steel ingots. We burned a whole bunch of them. Crap, but that's okay. But the antimatter we can make. So we need uh, the refinery, which we've got right here. We'll put that in there. We can also build up here. There's a couple new uh, th this thing. A power generator large. Uh, oh, 100 meters. Okay. So that's cool. So this is what you'd want to build ultimately with the larger bases. But I do want to progress up each of these because I just want to see what they're like. Okay, so let's see here. So if we place... Um, oh, here we go. So that's a refinery. So let's put the refinery. So we have to put the generator next to it, right? So uh, let's put the refinery right here for now, maybe. And then we can put the generator right beside it. Like this. Okay. And... Yeah, I think that's it. So now if we go open refinery, this is where we can put stuff into. Can we, how do we drag one item? So, Saltex, split, ah, oh, like that. Can I double click that? Yeah. Um, obsidian ore would be the exact same way here. Yeah, just like that. Cool, cool, cool. And, a dark matter shale I think turns into dark powder let's see if I go split yeah it makes dark powder sweet okay and then to make antimatter it's basically just a combination of the two so let's see here man it gets noisy with uh, with stuff running so this stuff here just takes the Saltex powder. Um, why can't I do do anything with that? Do I go over here? One. Oh, because we need more dark powder. Okay. So, how much dark powder? Just kind of split a whole bunch, maybe? So, how do we split a whole bunch? Can I right click? Click and drag. Ah, okay, I see. It's 54. Okay, and so that's making some more powder. Huh, that's so cool. Man, everything look, looks kind of weird with that electricity. Huh, but it's working. Now the electricity's gone, which is good. Maybe it's just the shadows and the way it renders everything. We don't have flashlight. That's probably why... Okay, cool, cool, cool. And that, so that stuff is is forging. Let's kind of jump up here. Oh, we can't jump up here. It's working away. Let's check this out here. This is cool. This refinery. Oh yeah, there we go. Bang. Okay, got tons of that. So let's make. There we go, come on. 
should have waited till it was closer. Okay. Going. I wish you could break down this stuff that you find, because you can find quite a bit of it. Oh, there's a guy. Make him come. Oh, went too far. I have to be a little more patient. A little bit more patient. Let's pick this stuff up here. Okay, so we got that and that. So now we can make more of those. So how many do we need to make of these antimatters? We need more Saltex powder, more obsidian powder. So let's make some Saltex powder, I guess. We'll do the same thing that we did with the other guy. We'll just split it up here. So I tell you what, I will come back once I've got this all, once i got the materials for what I need. Alright, okay. Okay, well welcome back. Look at this, look at this. This is it. Forge. Boom. 30 seconds, my folks. So, yeah, that's it. This is going to be the vehicle. So I kind of built a little bit onto our base here. This is all, these two things are going to have to move. But we're going to kind of have the car parked here. And then we'll have it drive out onto into the back and then we'll be able to explore all of these places with our our vehicle oh, it's just exciting times exciting times so we're gonna have to move this nav marker i think probably well we'll see we'll see once we figure out how big the car is so the car is built hopefully you don't need anything to power it <laughs> oh man this is so exciting then i want to rip around in it and then we're done for the day so got that um, oh sweet look how cool this is can we place it it's gonna place it over here it's gonna place it right there bang oh come on stupid physics okay whoa how do you go forward Going backwards. Oh, yeah, that's retarded. <laughs> How does this work? The vehicle controls. Um, let's see here. Stop. Escape. Go settings. We're just gonna kind of check the controls. I don't think I'll be able to find them in here. I'm gonna have to look them up because. Yeah, but there you go, folks. There's our brand new vehicle. Isn't that absolutely amazing? I think that that is absolutely amazing. Enter vehicle. Push up. Okay, so you just... Okay, so it kind of works. Can we run over stuff? Uh, we kind of can. Uh, it doesn't work too well. We can look. Does it turn? Oh, it does turn when we look. Okay. Really weird. Okay. Uh, come on. Ooh. Oh, you can. You can crash stuff. That sucks. Okay, we definitely have to exit out of our vehicle. We have to make sure that's open and that's backwards the door. Let's see if we can make it through here without smashing up the the place. Whoa! Okay, yeah, I'm not sure what the brake is. Ah, this is a terrible vehicle. Let's get out. So I thought the vehicle would help, but I think it's more detrimental than what it's worth, I think. Is what it, it feels like. I'm going to have to take a look at all that stuff, that uh, the damage that was done. Where's our vehicle? Oh. Come on. Okay, we need to... Can we shoot? Yeah, we can shoot. That's cool. Okay. 
Can I park it back here? Come on. Okay. There we go. See how that works. Man, the physics in this game are terrible. Okay, so what did I wreck? I wrecked this down here. We need that repair gun. That's for sure. So we need to replace those blocks there. This door is backwards. Um, can we pick up this door? Uh, it's kind of crappy. So we can kind of use it. Oh yeah, okay, I see. It's just like the regular doors. Oh, right here, there's like little panels on the side of the doors. Cool. Well, there you go, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. We built the car, which is kind of disappointing. But we do have this place to drive into. But I'm not sure what the brakes are for it. I'll have to see if I can find some control schemes for it. And other than that... Thank you, everybody, for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye-bye.